All right, so I'm just going to explain the difference between even functions and odd functions. All right, uh, even and odd. So an even function uh, is, the way you define it is, well, if you have f of negative x, this is the same as f of x. And what does that mean? Well, that means that this graph would be symmetrical about the y-axis. For example, if we had um, if we had the absolute value of x, remember we did this one a few videos ago, we would get something that looks like this and this, where f of negative x is the same thing as f of x. For example, if we picked f of a, f at one, f of x would equal one and also f at negative 1 would also equal 1. So we'll just write this in. This was y is equal to absolute value of x. Another one we could do, for example, would be x squared. Let's we'll draw a parabola in here and try and make it look the same going up the other way. <laughs> uh, this is y is equal to x squared. Now this is also symmetrical about the y-axis. And same thing, if we plug in, if we plug in another, let's say uh, we could use f at 2. f at 2 uh, would equal 4, and f at negative 2 would also equal 4. So that still holds true that f of x is equal to f at negative x. Um, another one we could do would be uh, y is equal to x to the fourth. So it would come across through the same point, but then go up steeper that way. Um, and then, oops, it's not, you get the point. This one, the screen one is y is equal to x to the fourth. Same thing, we could pick any value. If we want to just pick y, maybe x is equal to 1 again. Uh, if f at 1 would equal 1, and same, f at negative 1 would also equal 1. Um, and another function, we haven't talked about trigonomic functions yet, but, uh, for example, cos cosine of x would be an even function because it's symmetrical about the y-axis. It looks something to the effect of this. And it goes that way and same thing. It goes like that. And it just keeps going, oscillating up and down the whole way. But you'll see that um, it is symmetrical about the y-axis. Alright, you could just fold this over and it would look exactly the same on both sides. So we'll just write that in. This, is, this was uh, cosine of x. Uh, y is equal to cosine of x. Now we say a function is odd if, uh, if we have f at negative x is equal to negative f of x. And graphically this just means it has inverted symmetry about the line y is equal to x. x. So if we'll just draw in this line uh, like that, this is the line of y is equal to x. Right, it has a slope of 1 and it goes to the origin. So some examples here would be something like uh, y is equal to x to the power of 3 where it comes it comes from down here curves through like this and continues on that way. This is y is equal to x to the third. So you can see that uh, if you took this graph, this blue line here, and you rotated it, took this point and rotated it down to here, and just kept the axis there and rotated the whole thing 180 degrees, it would look the same. That's what I mean by inverted symmetry, and that's basically what defines an odd function. Um, another example could be maybe x to the fifth, where it would come, it would cross to the point one one, and then increase a lot steeper. Same thing down there. And again, if you rotate this point, if you take this point here, right here, and you bring it all the way down, you rotate it around 180 degrees, it's going to look exactly the same. And we can have slightly, we can have more complicated uh, functions that are odd or even, like, for example, for an odd function that we could have would be maybe something like 3x to, to the 7 plus 6x. I don't really want to draw that right now, but that would also be an odd function. And same thing over here, we could have something like uh, maybe 2x squared plus 
11, something like that. Or another one we could have actually is uh, y is equal to sine of x. So it's similar to the cosine function, but it starts here and looks something like that. And likewise looks something like that on the other side. And so if you took this again and you rotated it around, you would actually be seeing exactly the same function. So this was y is equal to sine of x. And I'll just mention, if you take the product of any two even functions, for example, uh, let's multiply these two together, we would have x squared times x fourth. We would just get x to the sixth. So if you multiply any two even functions together, you're going to get another even function back. Now, if you multiplied two odd functions together, we would have, let's say, um, x to the third times x to the fifth, we would get x to the power of eight. And we would actually get an even function by multiplying two odd functions together. And if you wanted to multiply an odd function by an even function, let's say, just keep it really simple, let's say we had x squared times x cubed, we would get x to the power of five, and we would get an odd function by multiplying an even function to an odd function.